Russian olive is a weedy tree or large shrub native to Asia and Eastern Europe. It was intentionally introduced to Canada and the United States in the early 1900s for use as an ornamental, a shade plant, and a windbreak. It has since been reported throughout most of North America, but is especially problematic in the Northwest. Russian olive is a very adaptive species. In the Northwest, it is most frequently found in riparian zones in floodplain forests, sub-irrigated pastures, and irrigation ditches. But it can also be found in drier sites, such as railroad beds, fence lines, along highways, and in grasslands. Russian olive has had profound impacts on riparian areas in the West. It alters nutrient cycling in streams, reduces the frequency, diversity, and growth of native fish and waterfowl. Heavy infestations prevent the germination of native riparian plant species, and it alters river stage levels and climax communities. Russian olive is a fast-growing deciduous tree or large shrub. Although plants can re-sprout from the stems and root crown following damage, plants generally spread only by seed. Most seeds germinate in spring, and young plants quickly develop an extensive root system with a deep taproot and well-developed lateral roots. Some plants are shrubby and multi-stemmed, but some behave more like trees with one main stem. Stems can be up to 25 feet tall, and they have brown bark with rough fissures that sometimes exfoliate in long strips. Younger stems are reddish brown and often thorny, while the youngest branches are silvery. Leaves are alternate, elliptic with smooth margins, and are usually two to four inches long. The upper leaf surface is gray-green and moderately covered with silvery, star-shaped hairs and scales. The undersides of leaves, as well as the leaf stalks and twigs, are silvery gray and densely covered with silver, shield-shaped scales. Flowering occurs in summer when small clusters of flowers are produced in leaf axils. Flowers are highly fragrant and less than a third inch across with four yellow sepals that resemble petals and that are fused at the base. Occasionally, some flowers may have five sepals. In late summer, flowers give rise to fruits that ripen in fall. Fruits are oval-shaped, half to one inch long and berry-like with a fleshy outer layer covering one seed. These are green at first and are covered in silvery scales. However, over winter, these often rub off to reveal brown flesh beneath. The fruits resemble olives, hence the common name of Russian olive. Fruits are edible and are sometimes used for making preserves. The fruits often remain on the parent plant until being eaten and distributed by animals, especially birds. Seeds are believed to remain viable for at least three years. In cold climates, plants lose their leaves over winter and then grow new leaves the following spring. In Western North America, Russian olive perhaps most closely resembles its native relative, silverberry. Silverberry is similar with its small yellow flowers with four sepals and its gray-green and silvery leaves and olive-looking fruit. Silverberry differs by being a shrub that only grows to 13 feet tall. Its root system is rhizomatous, its branches do not have thorns, and its leaves are whiter. The native silver buffalo berry is a shrub or small tree that resembles Russian olive with its silver scaled leaves, its similar small yellow flowers, its thorny branches, and its thicket forming growth. Silver buffalo berry differs in that its leaves are opposite and are smaller than Russian olive leaves. Female silver buffalo berry plants produce bright red, pea-sized fruits. From a distance, some willow species resemble Russian olive with their gray-green leaves and tendency to form dense thickets in similar habitat. Willows differ in that they typically produce several more tangled sprawling stems. Their branches are thornless and their leaves are much narrower and covered with long hairs. Their flowers are also produced in dense, non-showy inflorescences called catkins, and their seeds are surrounded by silky white hairs that aid in wind transport. <laughs>